Happy MG Racing in the that. house. Dawn and Dave. <laughs> Could see him over there shouting it up. It's yeah. great to have Dawn out here, too. I'm surprised we didn't get her racing this weekend. Hint, hint. Yeah, let's right? get on the G Pro GP. I'm excited. I've got the Toshi, my buddy Toshi out here from uh, Japan and Brock Austin on the, my teammates, Brock Austin, Pete Zernick, Ian. Uh, they're all out there. Let's, uh, let's see the show. There you go. All right, we're going to bring it on over to Pro Am Ski GP. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Mark. See you guys. All right, down on the line uh, out of Yakima, Washington, sponsored by Commander RM, Fly, Blosion, Villain, Jet Trim, Rhino Power, and 300 Fly. It is boat number three, David Redinger. Out of Las Vegas, Nevada, sponsored by Jet Renew, Motec, Hydra Turf, Las Vegas, PWC Race Schools, boat number 11, Greg Mad Dog Matta. Out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona, sponsored by Bullet Racing, Quakey Sense, Maxima, Hot Products, Scat Track. Boat number 17, Aaron Gawecki. Boat number 1ZA out of South Africa, riding for Rockstar Energy, Commander, and Burn Industries. It's the bots, Dustin Lazurus. And he is uh, out of La Liberty Lake, Washington, sponsored by Commander. Boat number 24, Derek Helm. Boat number 2ZA, a winner uh, last week in uh, Reno, Nevada. Uh, coming to us out of South Africa, riding for Commander Industries, Burn and Rockstar, as well as the K1. It's Tyron Mazuris. And from Eudora, Kansas, great to have him back out on the track. He's sponsored by Judge Motorsports. It is boat number 34, Jeff Wright. Out of Miramar, Florida, riding for Broward Motorsports, Team Mean Racing, as well as Exotic Signs, Wamiltons, Weber Power, and Jet Tribe. It's Speedy, David Cabrera. Out of Las Vegas, Nevada, he is on boat number 88, Rob Flores. Boat number 149 out of Sacramento, California, riding for the Liquid Militia, Jet Lift, the Gold Club of San Francisco, as well as Fly, Scat Track, 1-800-Radiator, Riva, Jet Tribe, Shark Energy, Ultimate Watercraft, Slippery, the Bullet V2, and Gasket Technologies. It's Pete Zernick. Out of Bountiful, Utah. Sponsored by Bullet, Hydroturf, Jet Tribe, Scat Track, Queen Racing, Jet Lift, KMG Racing, Mystic Lubricants, Hurricane Industries, Rhino Power, Shark Energy, and Oakley. Boat number 182, B Rock, Brock Austin. And boat number 702 out of Gardnerville, Nevada, riding for Commander Industries, the FAM, C4 Performance, atop a Trinity Hall, Thomas Pagan. Out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona, sponsored by ProWatercraftRacing.com, KMG, Mystic Showy, Jet Trim. Jet Pilot, Ultra Motorsports, and Scat Track. Boat number 220, Toshi Ohara. And boat number 658 out of Sparks, Nevada. Riding for Commander Industries, Burn, Fly Racing, and the Liquid Militia, Ian Roberts. And out of Flowery Branch, Georgia, sponsored by Optima, Riva, Blosion, IPD, Jet Pilot, Trinity, 100%, Judge Motorsports. Boat number 913, Jordan Carroll. That is your field. Yeah, it looks like uh, Jordan Carroll making a switch right now. You see him uh, working diligently right behind the uh, starting line to get that uh, boat number 316. He's going to, I believe, uh, ride Dawson Newby's uh, boat. And uh, Dawson Newby, former, well, uh, he is a uh, pro arena cross rider. So uh, Jordan Carroll going to work his way uh, to the uh, the starting line. Just blow it out real quick. And uh, since we still have a little bit of daylight left, we'll go ahead and let him. So again, a uh, special welcome to a lot of the riders that we haven't had a chance to see on the national tour, including uh, Toshi O'Hara. I noticed he's got uh, the hagfish down there holding for him. We got the chance to watch uh, Chris Hagus a little earlier today and uh, aboard that Pro Force boat, that brand new boat. Man, I love the design of that boat. I'll tell you something else that's interesting about this. You know how if you've ever been a stand-up racer and you like hit your front foot because you're planting your foot as you go into a turn and you like crinkle up your toes? It's those little details. So on Chris's boat, he's actually put an indentation on that front part so that you don't do that. And it's just that kind of minute attention to detail that really makes a difference. Mike. Hey, by the way, uh, we'd like to say a special hello to Wambleton Texier, who's watching in, as well as uh, Louis Malone, his daughters, Laura and Jessica, from Florida, Team Mean Racing. Here we go. One stage sideways and down. Tyron Mazuris with a good jump. I don't know if he's going to be able to make a stick for a whole shot though as we work their way into the first turn. And it does look like uh, a Mazuris boat. We'll let you know. Uh, we've got a bad glare from where we're viewing it here on the Tower of Power. Brock Austin also right there in the mix. Zernick also looked like he was up there. See if these guys are able to hold on to it. We'll get the numbers as they come through. Whoa! Right in the mix on the wow. outside. Wow! Austin uh, almost collides over there. On the other side, looked like he had uh, slid out. It's going to be Dustin Mazuris with the whole shot. Followed by boat number 220, Toshi O'Hara. Yep. And Pete Zernick up in third, boat number uh, 17. That is Aaron Gawecki in fourth. 
David Redinger fifth. Yeah, David Redinger actually in the fifth spot. Derek Helm in sixth. Rob Flores in seventh, and uh, B Rock in eighth. Wow, some great racing going out there. You're watching the Pro-Am Ski GP class here from the Hidden Trail Sea-Doo Pro Watercross Tour presented by JetLift. And the gentleman that won last week back in ninth place, so Tyron Mazuris got a little work to do. Yeah, it looked like he kind of got pinched on the way to uh, turn yeah. number one and uh, got kicked a little bit wide. And everybody uh, kind of snuck in underneath him, so uh, we'll see if he can work his way through the pack. He pretty much went wire to wire last week. And uh, his brother, Dustin Mazuris, Looking to pick up a victory here. Who took second on the podium last week in Reno. You know, I am just amazed. Look at this. We would have thought you'd walk Dustin Mazuris in the lead and Toshi O'Hara up in second. Only a couple of seconds behind him. Big shout out there for Proforce. What a great boat. And the fact that he's got Toshi aboard, even better. Yeah, Pete Zernick in the third spot. You know, uh, this would be Pete's best finish in the Pro-Am Ski GP if he could make it stick. Oh, that would be awesome to see him hit a podium this weekend. Especially in that, he's been winning very consistently in the bet ski class, but to see him grab a podium in uh, this Pro Ski GP would just make his month. Meanwhile, clicking back just a little bit further, looked like uh, boat number 17 still in fourth. That's Aaron Goecki. Toshi O'Hara opting to go to the outside split. Dustin Mazuris to the inside. Oh, that could be interesting because you and I kind of thought that outside looked a little bit faster this afternoon. Yeah, it looks like Toshi already coming out. Toshi will have the drive coming from the outside. No, oh, but yeah, Dustin looking over his shoulder, Mike. Yeah, you know that uh, he can hear that uh, KMG boat. And I do believe they're a little bit closer together this time. Dustin Mazuris got some pressure on him with uh, Toshi O'Hara. Zernick still hanging tough there in the third spot. Gawicki in fourth. Redinger in fifth, Roberts in sixth, Ian Roberts followed by Flores in seventh, Austin in eighth. Tyron Mazuris uh, trying to get around Brock Austin right That's now. That's ninth, and yeah, Derek Helm rounds out your top ten. Again, 12 minutes plus a lap, a lot of time to be on those GP boats, Don. Yeah, we had a 12-minute moto here, so they still got a lot of time to uh, shake this up. But, man, what an all-star close course lineup here. You got Jeff Wright coming through. Uh, another gentleman that we haven't seen uh, racing in a while, so it's great to have him out here. He's here. He's here. He's here. And Kelly Smith officially <laughs> in the house. <laughs> Kelly Smith has made it, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that's good because guess what? Sport, I need to have you on the line. Sport GP, I need to have you on the line. But actually, I do think they're going to let him do a practice lap, right? Well, he, might he might not have time to get on his wetsuit, but he made it. <laughs> there you go. So I do think they're going to allow Kelly Smith to uh, do a quick uh, practice lap. It's funny, I called. All right, you watch a Pro-Am uh, Ski GP. And man, what a... Uh, <laughs> What a crazy set of events. Okay, it looks like Toshi's setting up to go back into the inside split. Dustin's going to take the outside, and now we've got the added factor of the lapped rider starting to have a play. And it looks like Dustin right in the middle of a bunch of whitewashes. He's coming through, but he is still holding the lead. The question is, he is trying to run that inside split, which is smart from one end, but uh, a little bit tricky trying to get through those lapped riders. He makes it work. Toshi O'Hara only about two and a half seconds behind Dustin Mazuris. And that has been the big name of the game in this first Pro Moto class. You've got Pete Zernick back in third, Aaron Gawecki on the hunt in fourth, David Redinger still up in fifth. No change on that top five, but uh, the change happens a little bit further back. You've got Ian Roberts who had moved up into that sixth place, didn't have a good start, but had definitely already been moving. Rob Flores at seventh. First time that we've had a chance to watch him as a uh, privateer. All right, uh, Don Dawson, a uh, great race here in the Pro-Am Ski GP. This is the most packed uh, field that we've had all, uh, all day so far, so it's uh, great to see everybody coming out and supporting this uh, Pro Whoa. Ski GP class. We got a cup of this. Look at this. Toshi actually got around Dustin Mazuris, and that happened on that split section and then getting caught in the uh, lap traffic, and that is a big upset. 
great job for uh, ProWaterCraftRacing.com. Chris Hagas has got to be just beside himself right oh, now. Is that what kind of boat he's running? Yes, he is. Oh, oh wow, the, the Pro Force boat. That's uh, that's awesome. Yeah, I tell you, that is a, a huge shout out. I mean, if you're going to do that, way to put an awesome rider on there. Toshi O'Hara has done nothing but get faster and faster. We first saw him as a junior racer, Mike. Oh yeah, yeah. Again, uh, you know, to watch him, to watch him race, and, and you know, we kind of make light of it. We always say he slices and dices, you know, the samurai through the right, pack. Right. And you know what? He really does, though. I mean, he carves it up like a Thanksgiving Day turkey out there. He really does. Okay, now now that he's got a little bit of a breathing room, he's going to go ahead and push that inside split. But you've got to watch Dustin Mazuris coming from the outside. Got to see if he can reel him back in. What do you think about it? Well, Eight seconds between them now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's uh, once he got past, he's uh, he's already put, uh, uh, well, he had a lapper in between them. Mazura's not giving him up, though. He's, he's trying to keep him in his gun oh, sights right there. Oh, yeah. Don, here's, a, here's a funny thing that, uh, though, is uh, Toshi just got on that boat a week ago. He's oh, I been, didn't know that. Yeah, I'm, I'm standing here with uh, Greg Mad Dog Mata, and uh, he's one of the promoters out here in the West. Greg, uh, glad to see you back in action this week. Thank you, sir. Uh, just not enough shape yet to ride hard as I could. Well, I'll tell you what, he had major surgery four weeks ago. Just to even be out there, dude, you're a champion. Well, I thank you, Mike. Uh, you're one of the best announcers, you and Don. I want to thank you guys for being out here in the heat and Aww. putting some good announcement on. Thank you, and I want to thank uh, uh, AJ and his wife for the great show they put on and it's a lot of work thank you guys we pre us racers appreciate it exactly well and as a race promoter you know exactly what goes into it oh yeah we love you buddy we do love you it's so cool it's really cool to see him this morning driving into the parking lot him and his girlfriend jen yeah who actually just got on a boat today that, it looked like and that girl that's a future racer uh, that, i'm that, just gonna say yeah it. i heard that girl komodo she hit the <laughs> throttle Oh, very cool. She used to race dirt bike, he was saying. Look we got battle. a lot going on out on the track. It was Zernick in third, Mike. It looks like that's not the case. Yeah, yeah. It looks like uh, Zernick uh, has moved back into that fourth spot as Renninger able to get past. And uh, Gawicki back there in the fifth spot. Roberts in sixth. That Roberts with a lot of company. And Cabrera's actually moved up into seventh. We still got Tyron in eighth. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Those guys Tyron are uh, in seventh. Yeah, Tyron's uh, actually in the seventh. Cabrera I believe, actually uh, gone Ca down. Cabrera and uh, Pagan are uh, are both down a lap. Cabrera, though, a winner in the uh, Pro Ski Stock Class. For those of you uh, listening in on the live stream that may not have uh, got uh, got it on time, what's up, girl? No, I just got to say, this is odd to me that you you have got a real sense of the depth of the class when you see a pass buoy or a, a lap rider buoy come out or right, excuse me, a lap flag come out for B Rock. Did yeah. you not just see that? Because they're wow. actually indicating because Toshi has moved up that fast. I think that, yeah, that's probably the first time that he's ever seen it. Uh-oh, Gwicki goes off his boat on that inside split. And uh, that's going to give, uh, well, I'll tell you what, he, he, he actually does not lose a position. Great job by the beast there. That surprised me. Didn't lose he a position, up. and Roberts uh, right behind him, still in that sixth place position. And I uh, got a chance to catch up with Ian Roberts today as well. Definitely feeling better from the flu that he was dealing with last week. Yeah, but still hit the podium back there in Sparks. Yeah, that was nuts. All right, as we uh, take a look at this track, it's really the story all about Toshi O'Hara aboard that brand new uh, Pro Force boat. Boat number 220 is uh, the one we are talking about. Just came off of the front stretch, and Dustin Mazuris. About seven seconds behind him. Wow. So uh, Toshi right now uh, approaching uh, a bunch of uh, riders in the back of the pack. We'll see if that slows him up and see how that uh, that Pro Force boat uh, can dice through uh, all that jet wake. And uh, O'Hara, look at that. Great turn going down the back straightaway and uh, able to stay out of the wake from the lappers. And a gentleman that uh, we'd also been talking about, not just this year, but last year as well, David Redinger up in third, Pete Zernick. Man, what a great story that guy's got behind him. Uh, just a regular guy out working and able to do the national tour finally, and look how great uh, that has been for him. Still in the lead for the vet ski, currently in fourth out in pro ski, and Gawecki going down again. Well, Tough I'll tell you, break. you know, the water really starting to chop up. We not only got the wind now, but we've got a lot of boats that are out there on the water, and if you kind of look uh, toward the top right-hand side of it, especially where the splits are, it's really rough. And now here's another crazy thing. Toshi continuing to work his way through lap traffic. And he's going to, he's about to lap Rob wow. Flores. Now that I've never seen either. And I don't think Rob's seen it either. I don't think so. Oh, man. Rob's like, hey, what's going on? I've only been gone three rounds. 
Man, man, man. All right, so again, Toshi O'Hara, the gentleman on the back stretch, is your uh, current leader. Our first time to see him on a national tour stop, but uh, way to make your presence known. Very impressive ride. Yeah, he's uh, lapped all the way up into sixth place as uh, we got Mad Dog up here uh, spotting for us. Uh, we've got uh, Tyron Matsuris uh, in seventh. And Aaron Gawecki uh, back up aboard. Yeah, actually he's uh, lapped up to about eighth spot, as you see O'Hara, now down the front straightaway. All right, so. Uh, he is quick. Yeah, he is definitely very quick. So it looks like uh, Dustin Mazuris coming from that inside split, and Dustin now trying to uh, run down Rob, and Rob moves over. He realizes that uh, Dustin trying to make a push for Toshi. B-Rock, who had such a tough break on that start. He actually looked like he was going to get the whole shot, Mike, and uh, just got pushed out, yeah. rolled him over a little. Yeah, and then he got uh, spun out over here on the, uh, the outside split. That didn't help him out at all either. Yeah, and isn't it interesting how things change from week to week? So you had Tyron Matsuris at the top of the podium last week with Dustin in second and then B-Rock in uh, third. And right now, the way it looks on the water, you've got Dustin in second. B-Rock back away, and uh, Tyron also back away. But again, three motos. Exactly. That's going to make for some great racing tomorrow. And we'd oh, like man. to invite everybody as the uh, pro show will begin at 11 o'clock Mountain Time. Mountain Standard Time. That's uh, an hour off the East Coast and an hour off the West Coast both ways. All right. So again, watching... Uh, your Pro-Am Ski GP, I do need to have uh, Sport GP down on the line. Sport GP, I need to have you guys down on the line. And uh, again, a huge shout out for uh, Greg, Mad Dog, Matta for joining us up here today. Yeah, just a uh, housekeeping for you. Riders meeting tomorrow morning is going to be at 8.30. 8.30 riders meeting. Is that Mountain Standard Time? or? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're so confused. Or is it Pacific Standard Time? Because I was on Pacific Standard Time when I drove in today. Don't worry. We'll wake you up. Sorry, I was an hour late. All right. So uh, Toshi O'Hara is the uh, story of the hour. As he can look at this, he is moving up to try to pass Tyron Matsuris and uh, make that a lapped rider as well. It's nothing short of shocking because these are some of the greatest riders in the world and white flag is out. Yeah, that's it. The white flag is out for, for, uh, for these riders here. Again, the samurai in, in first and uh, Dustin Mazuris takes a look around him and uh, he'll find uh, nobody in his rear view mirror. So Toshi O'Hara leading, Dustin Mazuris second. Which means, uh, you know, the white flag's out. That means we need our Sport GP class. Final race of the day. Please report down to the starting line. Once again, Sport GP, please report down to the starting line. Hidden Trail sea -Doo, Pro Water Cross Tour, presented by JetLift and brought to you by Squatch by Jack Links, Bomber Eyewear, HydroTurf, Solus, as well as Shark Energy. And how about it for the Samurai getting his first race on the Pro Water Cross Tour? Wow. Aboard that first boat. Yeah, buddy. Looking good. And uh, this is how far he came in in front of second. Second place now coming through. The Mots, Dustin Mazuris. I'm sure the Mots knows. By the way, you know, they're making sure everybody goes down to the tech area. Win, lose, or draw. So those, uh, those, Don, were your, uh, those were your top two riders. Yes. And Redinger, I believe, is in third, Redinger. now coming from the outside split. What uh, what an advantage. And uh, I'll tell you what, let's take a look at this new Pro Force boat. Yeah. Redinger so, taking third. Zernick still going to hold on to fourth. And Ian Roberts will round out your top five here in the uh, Pro Ski GP. I'll tell you what, I can't wait for the second and third motos bam. of this class. Bam, bam. Boom. All right, and uh, there comes uh, Tyron Mazuris. Again, Tyron with a bad start. I still still believe he still came in through uh, that uh, seventh place position unofficially. 
And uh, Kelly Smith just uh, making his way here from Vegas after a uh, scheduling conflict while in the air. So he is a. Uh, he's gonna. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna give him a quick lap so he knows the track, and then we'll get started here with our Sport GP. That'll be the final race of the day, folks. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> 